Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble the basket and the balloon together. Now, first of all, we need to find out where we want to put the guide ropes on the balloon. So I find that the best way to do this is to count the number of rows from the top. And if you go down between row 12 and 13, then that's a good level. So what you need to do is take a pin, count down to row 12 to 13. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And the between row 12 and 13, now try to put it in just where the green and the white change over. So you know you've got a starting point there. Because at that point, we want to make, because we're thinking we've got a square basket, we want to make sure that we've got it directly that way and directly horizontal as well. So you've got the four corners of the basket marked. So opposite to this will be three colours round. So one, two, three, you know you're going to put it on that point there but you still want it on the same level as you've put the first pin. So that will be round about there. Now can you see we've got the two pins there? Can you see those? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's the first bit. Now we want to do the other two sides. So taking the pin again, we want to go halfway through the green at the bottom here, so make sure you're on more or less on the same level. Remember, it's a spiral, so it's not going to be on the same level all the way around. You've got to really, once you've got the first one in, you do it more or less by eye. So you've got the same level all the way around. So we've got that one in there, then just turn it all the way over, and you'll be in the middle of the white one here. So that'll be more or less there. So those will be the four corners you can just see the edge of the pins there, the four corners to the basket. Now having got the position in the correct way, now you want to make the guide ropes. This is very simple. All it is, is measure out three strands of white wool. And make it about, probably about 50 centimetres, half a metre each strand. Now, make sure they're all level, not the right level. So what we're going to do is, it's going to put them on a surface like this, and then with enough space at the top, take a piece of sticky tape, which I have one right here, but leave a space at the top so you can um, thread a needle and actually attach it to the balloon later on. So put it round about there so you've got plenty of space. Because now, when you've stuck that down, now we want to take these three pieces here, and we want to just plait them. Plait them as tightly as you can in a very neat, small plait if you can. It's a bit fiddly to start off with, but once you get it going, it's really simple. I mean, you can, if you wanted to, you could just use a single piece of wool, but I just find this gives it a bit more gravitas, really. It makes it look so much nicer. And especially when we stiffen it later on, it makes them look really good. Now you want to carry on braiding it like this for about 14 centimeters. It takes a, it doesn't take that long actually, and once you get going it gets a lot easier, but you carry on doing that till you get to about, as I say, 14 centimeters. And once you've done that, make sure each you want to do it four times. So it's very important that each one has the same length of braid, otherwise the basket won't hang straight at the bottom. So once you've done that, you'll have something like this. So that's, can you see that's all braided there. Now when you get to the bottom, what you need to do is just do, take, go to the edge of the braid and just put a knot in it. Just a simple knot. So you just put it round your fingers and pull. Pull the wool through but make sure that the knot goes up to the end of the braid that you've just made. Okay, now once you've done that and you've got four of them, then we're ready to stiffen each rope and the basket. Now just get rid of this so I can show you what we're up to now. Right, now the easiest way to do this I find is you can, you can stiffen things by using uh, glue, you know, parts of glue to water, but that can get a bit 
messy. So I found out that the easiest way to do it is by simply using normal laundry starch. I just use a spray starch and I soak each one of the, the ropes and the basket. You might find that you need to do it twice. Just give it a good soaking, spray it all over, leave it to dry naturally and then come back and see if it's nice and stiff. If it's not, just simply do it again and then next time you come back and it's dry, you'll find it be nice and stiff and it'll be able to take the pig that we're going to put in next time. For the ropes, when you come to stiffen them, again, spray it all over, soak them through, but you can dry them by simply putting the top over the edge of a shelf or something and then attaching either a clothes peg or a clip, bulldog clip, anything, to give it some weight so it dries straight, like you would a rope. And then once they're perfectly dry, then come back and watch the rest of the video to see how we attach it to the balloon and the basket. So we've now stiffened the basket. You see, that's quite nice and stiff there. And we've made the four guide ropes and stiffened them as well. Now in this part, I want to show you how to attach the ropes to the basket and then the balloon. Now it's best if we attach it the bottom bits first because we've got the nice little knots at the bottom and if you put those into each of the corners then we can change the length if we need to of the ropes when we attach it to the rope to make sure that the basket is even at the bottom. So to do the first one I'll show you how to do the first corner. So simply get one of the ropes at the bottom where you made the knot and take one of the threads of wool and just simply thread it onto a darning needle you know, or blunt tapestry needle, whatever you've got. Don't worry if the <laughs> the wool is a bit... Yeah. The wool might be a bit stiff because you've just stiffened it. It will soon go into the needle. There we go. So, pull it onto the needle. Don't worry if it doesn't go on first time. Either that'll get a bigger hole for your needle. Now then, just thread it on. There we go. Now what we want to do is you take the rope and if you want to place it right on top of the corner, you'll see it will straddle one stitch. Let me see that, let's get it on there. You'll see it will straddle one stitch there. So you put one thread down this one, simple, be gentle with it, pull it through, then get the next one where you think that will be there, actually it's not that one isn't it, the middle one, it won't matter that much as long as you get them all through different holes at the top, and you thread this one on, Just like that. And we'll put that through the middle bit. See if you can, can you see that there? So we want to put that through that one. Pulls it nice and tight. And then the final thread on this particular rope, we're just going to thread that through like so. And we'll pull that through, you see, in that hole there. So when you've got all three of those through, make sure it's nice and straight on the top. You can see that's in the corner very nicely. Now all you have to do is tie, take two of the pieces and just tie a knot in it so it's nice and underneath. Then, with those two tied, you take the third knot and then tie that to the previous two. So they're nice and tight underneath. Because that's the final knot, you can tie it again and it will make it nice and sturdy underneath. Then all you have to do is take each thread 
and simply weave it in under the lip so it isn't seen but it is nice and neat just weave it in there and then tie each one off weave it back and tie it off and when you've done that then you've got each rope secure we'll do that to each rope all the way around and when you've got every one of them tied off neat and secure we'll come back and we'll attach it to the balloon okay so by now hopefully you've got all four guide ropes in place on the basket all nicely finished off now all we have to do is attach the basket to the balloon now remember we had all the places where we want to put the balloon had it all pinned off so what i would suggest doing before you actually secure it tightly to the balloon you take one thread of each rope put it to the corresponding place you want to put it in the balloon say we go here and just place it in the hole where you've got the pin and then take it over to the side hopefully every time you put it on these ropes try and bring it out in the white area because when we eventually tie the knot to tie it all off then it won't be seen so easily white under white so for the meantime we're just going to take one rope one piece of wool on each guide rope yeah and we're going to go around and do it on all four of them and then see this is just to make sure that all the ropes are exactly the same length and the basket will actually be swinging straight underneath okay so i'll meet you back when i've just threaded one piece of wool from each rope into its to the right place on the balloon okay so we've just got a different camera angle here because i wanted to show you before we tie off all the ropes securely we want to make sure that that basket is swinging straight underneath the basket underneath the balloons you can see that it is doing here so this bit is really easy all you have to do is secure each rope to the balloon you've already pulled one piece of wool from each rope through so the next bit just take rid of this pin don't need it go into the same hole that you use for the first one now just to secure it a bit more so a bit more tightly than not i like to take it through to a different hole first of all just to give it another pathway through the balloon and then go in through the same hole there and come out through the hole where your first piece of wool went just like that okay do the same for this piece of wool go through a different hole and bring it up through there then simply tie off the three pieces of wool like we did for the basket and then push the knot back in and when you've done that for all four corners i'll come back and show you how to make the actual bit for the mobile simples okay so once you have all the ropes in place and nice and secure and straight you need to make it into a mobile now that is absolutely simple just take a length of white wool thread it onto a needle and just place it thread it through the top of the balloon basically on both sides of the first round you see that there just put it through there thread it through make sure you get the rope equal and then tie it off at the top and then you'll be able to hang your mobile quite happily this is our hanging mobile and all that's left to do now is put in the passenger Parsley the pig and I'll show you how to do that in the next video see you there